going to try playing around with the new Pale Violet from Michael Harding Oils. On its own, it's a really lovely, rich, mid-value, cool, bluey, purpley violet. Um, so I'm going to see what happens if I mix it with other colours. If I put it with some white, it becomes a greyer, softer, bluer colour, I think. It's cooling off nicely. Could be useful for skies, this, I think. Could see that on the shadow side of a cloud, maybe. It's lovely and fresh, but not too clean. Not too artificial looking, that's quite lovely. Let's try mixing it with some more unusual colours. I'm going to try the lead tin yellow lemon with it. I just get the feeling it might make a nice grey. It's gone slightly greenish, but a really natural grey. Not too flat, but nice and gentle. Again, I'm thinking skies here. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's a really nice, interesting green-grey. Plenty of movement in it. There's a warmth to it from that lead tin yellow. With the brilliant pink, I'm interested to see what we get here. The brilliant pink has a yellowish kind of tint to it sometimes. Oh wow, that's lovely. There's a little bit of white going in there as well. That's warmer than I expected but really rich, not too loud. That's great, that would be good for flowers or local colour. That's a really lovely, rich, warm, middle violet colour. What about green? I haven't a clue what this is going to do. Put some permanent green light with it. Huh, it's gone like a blue-grey, greeny blue-grey. Wow, that's a really pretty colour. I don't know quite where I'd use it, but I really like that colour. That's really pretty. So what about some viridian green? Darker, bluer. Similar effect actually, very similar. Viridian's not so strong, I guess. They're really, really pretty colours there. They might work well in still life. Shadow colours, perhaps? How about with a little spot of cadmium red? I often use cadmium red with ultramarine to make a shadow cloud, a sort of stormy cloud colour. But this will be quite a lot warmer. This lilac is warmer than I thought it was going to be. In these mixes, it's really coming through with a more pinkish note than I expected. That's pretty with the cadmium red. It's greyer than it was with the bright pink. If I add some white, that's making a lovely warm middle purple grey. That could be lovely for summer shadows. Just try it with black because it's a middle value at the moment. Let's just see what happens if we darken it. Again, that warmth is really surprising me. It looks quite blue on its own. As soon as I mix it with something, it seems to warm up. I was wondering if it would grey very easily, and it's not. To my delight, <laughs> it's staying really rich and lovely. And how about if we put it with Something a bit more turquoise. Cerulean, maybe? Wow, that's a vivid blue. That's gorgeous. That's quite a surprising colour. There's a really strong lilac tint in everything, but warmer than I expected. That was really fun. <laughs>